Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing an anti-haul video and I'm basically going to talk about products that I will not be buying myself. And there was this was like a really hard video to do just because who doesn't like to shop for makeup but there's just those items out there that really don't catch your attention and so I had to mention it. Um, I want to thank you uh, guys for... Uh, asking me to do this video I love it when you guys give me suggestions of new videos to try or new videos that you guys want to see and don't worry I know you're wondering why didn't you film a tutorial on this I look I actually pre filmed an I look for this and it's actually gonna be a really fun video because I'm not gonna say because it's a surprise so you guys will see that later in the week or probably through, throughout the weekend so stay tuned for that and so let's get right into the video. first product that I will not be buying is going to be the Tarte Clay Stick. I really don't know what it is with these thick foundations. They really do not call my attention. They just seem too stiff for me. Um, it might be the fear that I don't know how to work with them. I never tried one before, so I will not be buying the heart placed it from other people that it was extremely dewy and that it was it was also putting their face like super oily so that kind of mis misled me from buying it so I don't think I'm gonna be buying that one sorry Tarte I love their products but I just don't think that the stick foundation would be one of my favorites I am so embarrassed because it feels like I've been hitting Tarte with a punching bag but no um, I just happen to have several items from them that I don't like so the next product that I won't be buying is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette. It's kind of like the shimmerish kind of brown taupe, taupe color palette that they came out I think just recently this summer and I got to swatch it in stores and everything and I still was not blown away by it. I feel like there's some other palettes that have those colors or that I might have those colors in my collection. Now I feel it's very repetitive when it comes to Tarte, like they're always doing the same style of palette and the same style of shades in the palettes. So I'm like, no thanks. Um, so I think I'm going to have to pass on the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette, the Too Faced Glitter palette. I got to see the glitter palette uh, first picks with the Sephora Rouge members um, and it really didn't blow me away to me it was just very tacky and you would have to use your finger to use it I don't like to use my fingers when I do my makeup and it just seemed like those type of glitters that you need to keep and keep applying because you're gonna fall out super fast so I will not be purchasing the Too Faced glitter palette pass and next I will also not be buying the Kat Von D Lolita blush and I kid you not I was really excited for it but one of my friends bought it and she used it and it just totally disappointed me it was one of those colors that doesn't come true to its actual pot color and I kind of feel like I can find other dupes for it that are cheaper it's only $20 but if you really think about it how much am I gonna reach out to it so I don't think I'm going to be buying the Lolita blush or eyeshadow. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to fall into the hype. So no, it's going to be a no for me. So next and last, I will not be buying the Huda Beauty 3D highlighting palette. To me, it's just insane because I feel like now they don't even know what to name things anymore. Like honestly, 3D, like why is it 3D? Like does it? It's it gonna make you feel like a Simpson or something? I don't know. I'm sorry. I will not be purchasing the Huda Beauty 3D palette. It just doesn't call my eye at all. And the names are really similar to the Kylie one. So I'm like, nah. I'd rather just pass. And I feel like I have highlighters that color. So sorry guys, yeah. I decided to put my hair up in a ponytail. But the next item we're gonna talk about is the Farsali Drops. Um, this unicorn oils, um, there's a bunch of them. There's like rose gold, there's unicorn tears, there's like I don't know how many other ones. I'm gonna put a picture of the one that I'm talking about. I'm not gonna purchase just because I feel like it's just 
like it's just a moment it's just like a trendy thing i don't feel like it's gonna do anything special to my skin other than just kind of apply the foundation smoothly so i think i'm gonna have to pass um i like oils and everything but i'm just not into the whole hype thing so yeah i think it's a little bit also expensive so the last product that i will not be purchasing is one of those bras that is like a looks like a heart and it just hugs your boobs like with a zipper or something i don't know it's just totally weird for me i don't think that one of those bras would work for me because i'm like a big chested girl so i'm not even gonna try it i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't even want to try it like not even if they would call me and say um here you could try it it's free i will not try it i just don't think it's like super stupid like why would, why would you want to be suffocating yourself with that thing hell no i don't even like spandex or anything like that so no 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 i will not be purchasing that and Pass, pass. So that's everything my beauties for this video thank you so much for watching thank you for requesting this video i hope i did you guys proud and until the next one i'll see you guys then bye